All right, thanks for coming back for part two against Mary Michaelmas. And at the end of the last video, Gyro Man got obliterated by Ice Punch, and that made me really not happy. So now I gotta figure out who to go to to take on Metagross. I go to Falzer for Stab Thunderbolt, and then I realized I have Heat Wave, so I just went with that instead. And he thought I would this move for a long time, I think, but I cut out all the waiting. He lives with 13 HP, which is a lot less than I thought he was going to live with, and I also live with 13 HP, so that was rather humorous. Uh, unfortunately, it's not too humorous because Zapdos dies, and now something else has to come in to try to kill this thing. It's taken out two of my guys, and I'm not happy about it. Anyway, I suddenly cut man, and I wasted a good three minutes of his time deciding whether or not Bullet Punch would kill a 13 HP Metagross, which it will, so cool take that thing out and now he sends in the hippo so I don't know why for whatever I'm just clicking buttons apparently I click double hit I really don't know why but I did just for some damage and to get him to use yawn uh, I was thinking maybe he would predict the switch or just use yawn anyway since there's not well I guess he can EQ which he is about to do but I wanted scissor to stay asleep such that fake man could be unasleep so, yeah and he would be able to beat the hippo that way because I definitely couldn't have uh, him getting yawned once he stays in. So uh, knowing better now, I use Bug Bite to deal extra damage and go to sleep. So now I can go out to Fake Man and uh, yeah. I'm already down to about half. He slacks off as I come in, so that's cool. I have plans of slacking off myself since Glyscore is now dead. I don't have to worry about Taunt and I would just kill Glyscore and one hit anyone with Surf, so whatever. He Earthquakes, luckily no crit. I think I probably would have lived a crit anyway, albeit not with much. I would have had to slack off twice and get back up to a usable amount. So now I'm pretty content to either calm mind or attack. Or no, I just I go in and slack off. I wanted to get back up to full. So now I can start calm minding and I'm hoping I can calm mind and slack off, calm mind, slack off, and you know, then I can go on the offensive and hopefully kill him in, you know, one hit. Since, you know, surf is super effective. He goes back out to Vaporeon, which is almost dead, so it's kind of tempting to go ahead and kill it off, but I know I can set up all over this thing. There's no reason to go ahead and get it dead just yet. It's, I mean, it's, it's not threatening, so it can baton pass a sub, but I don't think anything l remaining that he has can threaten me too much, apart from maybe the Bronzong, which could explode, which I wish it would have exploded uh, in the last video, but it did not, so... Uh, now the thing has a sub up, it can pass a sub, and I kind of mess up here because I use Calm Mind. I really should have either surfed or shadow balled. Probably either one would have broken the sub. And now I'm thinking, oh man, he's going to blow up. I can hit him first, probably. I'm likely faster. I do actually have some speed EVs on this thing to outspeed paralyze things. And uh, he's a gyro baller, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be slower than me. But I'm really thinking he's going to explode. Just because, and I'm also pretty sure, apparently I didn't cut out this waiting where I did a damage calc to uh, see that more than likely Fake Man would die from the explosion unless he was, like, not on the attack at all, which is unlikely. I end up staying in, and I click slack off because I forgot that I was going to be faster, so I completely wasted a turn, should have broken that sub, and that was just a bad play by me. He misclicks again, however, and sets up Reflect, so that's amazing. I think he said he was going to boom there, so wow. That was a misplay by me and another misclick by him, so that was quite potentially huge. I don't know, I might have lived it, but I doubt it. So now that that thing is gone, uh, yeah, I don't know how that would have ended up if he had blown up, and then I would have had Medi, a burned, ten almost dead Tengu Man, and a sleeping uh, Scizor to take out the rest of his guys. I don't know how that would have played out. Uh, but anyway, now no war is out, and we gotta p play a little pain split game. Uh, I want him to get, he's like, close to dead. I want him to get back up to almost l full life, that way that, you know, he can pain split, and I need to kill him in one hit, so that, you know, because he's faster than me. So he's gonna be able to pain split, and I don't want to be at like half hit points when the next thing comes in, so, yeah. Uh, he earthquakes, which is cool, because I very rarely see that on the war. And that's a nice move on him, actually. But, 
whatever. I'm gonna continue to slack off. Apparently he's life orb too, which is another thing I like. I, I don't think I've ever seen a life orb noir. I mean, I guess it has good synergy with pain splits. So that's a pretty neat idea, but uh, definitely something I'm not used to seeing, especially when he's got two non-offensive moves. I don't know. That's I don't know. I might want to run a third offensive move on there. Perhaps get rid of Will O Wisp. But uh oh well, Will O Wisp is always a good move on Noir. And I was pretty much content there just to go ahead and kill him off, and which I did. So now I'm at a decent amount of hit points, and I'm not too afraid. I am burned now, however, so I'm uh now losing an eighth each turn. Sand and lefties are canceling out. So I'm definitely gonna have to slack off more often. Fortunately I have enough calm minds up that uh Surf is gonna wreck that dude. And I think all he's got left is Vaporeon, so yay for Fake Man coming through in the clutch. Was able to go on a little slow bro sweep here, and that definitely uh, saved me the match. If he hadn't, if he had uh, blown up there, then that would have been really bad, because I likely would have lost this guy, and I don't know if I would have won. Although by the same token, I should have Shadow Balled and not come minded, so that would have been the same result, or I don't know. Anyway, that was a great match from him. Definitely check out his channel. He's got a lot of stuff that's. Uh, up there besides Pokemon, in addition to Wi-Fi battles, there's like uh, Super Mario World hacks if you like those, uh, a couple of piano things, so a lot of good stuff, so definitely check him out. And a uh, little special announcement here, in addition to the battle, since I have some time left. Uh, I am about to be moving out of my dorm, which I have lived in for the past four years due to graduation, etc. And so I will no longer have delicious university Wi-Fi, so, or Wi-Fi, uh, internet, period. And I currently cannot find my little whatever I use to get on Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi, to get on internet without it. So I don't know when my next video will be up at all, or if I will be in communicado with peoples for however long. But uh, hopefully I will be able to get back up with internets and stuff, and there should be an event video too up around the time that occurs for those of you who have seen the other event video, and that'll have, I think, like Jarachi and the Pichu. So, yeah, who knows when my next video will be. Heart Gold, if it's not already up, will be up tonight. So, I don't know. If you want to check that out, check over some of my old videos, and hopefully, I'll see you guys sometime in the future. Uh, definitely hope that my Wi-Fi adapter continues to work with whatever inter internet I have next. And if not, then uh, who knows what future videos I'll post, if any. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching all the stuff on my channel, and later days.